Hodge. Hey everybody, Nintendo Hodge back with another pickup video. It's been a while since I've done one and I have a lot of goodies to share with everybody. Uh, so let's just get right into it. With the release of the new Pikmin game on the Nintendo Switch, uh, I don't actually have the case for it here, but we did pick that one up. So just imagine I'm holding it here in my hand. Um, but on the Club Nintendo uh, website, you could put in some coupon codes, uh, or not coupon codes, but like the coins that you collect for buying the games and doing like quizzes and things like that. Uh, they were giving away these. So this is for Pikmin 3 Deluxe. And they are little stickers that you can put on your cups. So I don't think I'm gonna open these up. I just think they're pretty cool to keep. But you can put these stickers on your cup and when you're having a glass of beer or some milk, you can enjoy the time with the Pikmin characters. Uh, we actually have some coasters coming as well. They just haven't arrived yet. This was a pickup from a long, long time ago at a uh, thrift store or hawk shop, I can't remember, but I got a copy of Lord of the Rings Trilogy on Blu-ray. So this is going to go into the Blu-ray collection. And we're getting close to Christmas time and Hallmark always releases some awesome Christmas ornaments around this time of year. You saw some of my previous video that we already picked up and these are a few more that I recently grabbed. So we have the Ghostbuster Ghost. The DeLorean from Back to the Future. And an NES controller. It's actually really cool looking. If you look at it uh, closely here, you can see they actually wrap the cord around it, which is pretty neat. On to some other new games that I picked up. Uh, of course, we have a copy of Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the Nintendo Switch. Loads of fun. I think my son's already beat two out of three of these. Um, I barely played it, but loads of fun. And it's nice for him to be able to go back and revisit some of these on the Switch and portably. And a limited run game pickup that I recently got, and that's Shantae and the Seven Sirens. And they send these cool little cards with it as well. Uh, this one arrived a while ago. I don't have all of the Shantae games uh, in the series. Uh, I think it's ones I would like to try to pick up down the road. I kind of got to go through and see what I have and what I don't. Um, but there's a couple I know that I'm missing. I can't remember the name of the company where these ones came from, uh, but when I saw they were releasing this for the Wii U of all systems, uh, I knew I had to have it, and that is Shakedown Hawaii on the Wii U. So this is like officially one of the last printed games now for the Wii U. And my last pickup, a fairly decent pickup, uh, Paula saw a listing on Facebook Marketplace they were asking a reasonable price for this lot of games and I jumped right on it. The listing I think was up for about five minutes before we reached out to them. I said I can come right now to get it. Uh, so it was about hour and 20 minutes round trip, but definitely worth it. We have a Nintendo GameCube system. So it's a GameCube lot. One regular controller and there's also a um, knockoff controller that came in the bundle. I didn't even realize this was in the bundle until we got home and looked at it, but a wave bird that's actually in very good shape uh, and it works, well, at least it turns on. I don't know if it works, but when I turn on, I get a light. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna work. I'll test that one out. Um, but this will replace one of the ones in my collection because it's in a little bit better shape. And a big old stack of games. So we'll go through those now. Flushed Away, The Incredibles, The Sims busting out, the Sims 2 Pets, The Sims, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, getting into the better stuff now, Sonic Collection, so this includes Sonic 1, 2, 3, Dr. Robotnik's Bean Mean, mean Bean Machine, uh, Sonic Spinball, 3D Blast, and Sonic and & Knuckles, Teen Titans, Sonic Heroes, and now the games that made this lot amazing to find. Don't say there isn't stuff out there because there is, you just have to be patient for it. Super Mario Sunshine, Mario Kart Double Dash, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and last but not least, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Uh, no manual for this one, the other ones are all complete. But that here was definitely an amazing score, there's all the games there you can see. Um, like I said, it was a, a steal of a deal at the price they were asking for it. 
Uh, luckily, I was able to jump on it right away when it showed up in the listing. And I'll be able to add a few games into the collection and flip the other ones to recoup the costs and probably put a little extra change in my pocket. Now, there is one more game that I forgot about that I recently got. Uh, let me grab that. So I made a trade with somebody who normally attends the Barrett Game Exchange. He's a regular vendor that's there. I saw he had this posted and I have a whole bunch of stuff just kind of sitting on the backlog trying to sell it. Um, but I asked if he would be interested in a trade. Um, at first he said no, he didn't want to. And then he asked what I had. And I gave him kind of the lowdown of everything. And he was interested in a bunch of uh, 3DS games that I had. So I traded him like four or five 3DS games. I think I gave him about $15 more value than what he was asking for in his game but in the end i don't mind this is one you don't see very often and that is gargoyle quest 2 on the nes so this one isn't one that was actually on my radar that i wanted to pick up but i know it's supposed to be a very good quality game um, i played it a bit so far and i'm enjoying what i'm seeing it's a mix between rpg and um adventure game i guess you could say um the flying mechanics are a little bit to get used to, but I'm sure the more I play it, the more I'll get used to it. Uh, as you can see, it is a little roughed up, so I, I got it valued uh, lower than what it's actually valued at because of the condition. Some good scratches there on it. Um, the end label is actually in pretty good shape, but uh, an uncommon, harder to find game added into my NES collection. All right, that is everything. Those are all of my pickups. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do another video and what it's going to be on. It might not be till Christmas time now. We'll see. Uh, if I stumble across any more lots, um, I'll definitely have another video, but we shall see. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see everybody in the next video.